Hello again, people. Today's topic is again about my late. So as you can see, I have done some, some electrical work on the late. This is the electric circuit of the late. And I have taken it off from the box, which is right here. And what I've done so far is I have taken all the component, components off and taken them apart and cleaned and put them back on. And also I found some, some not functional parts such as two switches and, um, and a time relay which was right here, this one. It didn't work and also even if it did, it does no good to the light at all. Uh, its purpose is to shut the main motor down when the light has been in neutral for more than five seconds, I think. It has never worked. And I certainly do not miss this part. And also two of the power switches were broken down. Uh, actually three of them. This is the third one. I will take it off also. <coughs> and I will replace them with more modern switches. And also I have will have to do some rewiring after I took out the time relay. So let's go to the box. To it I have done some cleaning so far and there's some more to do. The plan is to sand off most of the old paint and put some new in. Actually, the only component that I'm gonna save is this, this main motor load meter. You can see it here, maybe. It is still working great, so I see no idea in replacing it. Also, I have taken out all the wires that go to the motors. They will be replaced. And the outside of the box, I think I will leave as it is now. I thought about painting the lathe, but I came to a conclusion that I will not paint it. So I will leave this paint on it, because I don't really care how it looks. As works as long as the mechanic condition is great. Maybe if I have time I will paint it, but I don't think I will. So, this is the end of this video. If you are interested, you can keep watching this and I will try to explain how the circuit works. There are some, some things still in the circuit that I, am, I don't know exactly how they work, but I can do my best to explain it. But if you don't want to hear it, so you can stop watching now. Okay, here we go. So this lathe has three motors. It has the main motor, the rapid feed motor and the coolant pump motor. And you can see in the scheme here, this is the main motor, this is the coolant pump and here you can see the rapid feed motor. <coughs> and maybe we will start at the start. So this machine runs on three phases and 400 volts, even though it says 380 here, it is no 400 in Finland. And the first one here is the main switch, followed by three fuses, one for each, each phase. 
and then it goes to the main relay or the contactor which is right here and these are the power feed wires they go to the fuses and then to the main contactor and then as you can see they continue straight to the motor but here you can see an overprotection relay which is right here so the wires go from here through fuses to here and then when the contactor is activated it lets the power through and it continues from these wires to the overload protection relay but one of the phases goes right here it doesn't go through the relay it goes right here to here and this is where the amperage meter is so these two wires go in this conductor I mean this connector and this one comes out so this will get us to the coolant pump motor it gets one of the phases right here you can see this is the one for the motor that goes to the amperage meter and then it goes back to here which is the fuse for one phase and the other two come from here and then they go to the switch the coolant pump doesn't have an electric contactor it only has the mechanic switch which doesn't work anymore so they go here and they go to the overprotection relay and again only two phases go through it and one goes here so two come here and one here and for the main motor two phases here and one goes behind the circuit to here so the three wires come from here and as you can see in the seam here you can see the fuses for the coolant pump and the switch for the coolant pump and the overprotection relay and the motor and then we get to the first thing I don't know about which is this thing here I think it might be some kind of a motor that this day late didn't come with maybe it was optional or something I have no idea what it could be and also it might relate to this time relay somehow no idea how I still don't know how this works I haven't really looked at it yet but that's all I'm gonna say about that right now let's go back to here again three fuses which go to here and when we look down we see the contactor for the rapid feed motor and if we go here we get to the transformer and the transformer puts out 12 and 110 volts and the only purpose of the 12 volts is to drive the working lamp as you can see there is one fuse a switch and a lamp and the ground and you can see that right here so again from the main power through the fuses it goes right here it goes first to the rapid feed contactor and then they keep going to the transformer here you can see the 12 volts and here is 110 and the 12 is here it goes through the fuse and through the switch which isn't here right now 
and it goes here by this wire so I think this one so it will go from here to the lamp and 110 volts you can see the circuit is here and first you can see <coughs> fuse of course and then there are three overprotection relays which is weird because there's only two of them in the circuit because one of them is here which I don't know what it is maybe some of you can tell me that so if any of these relays pops all the electricity um, in this circuit will go out and all the contactors will go out too uh, and maybe then we will go here this is the circuit for the coil of the rapid feed motor this is the coil of the contactor which is inside this contactor uh, this coil reads this in Russian and the same one is here and this is only controlled by the switch right here and this is the switch in the feed lever you can press it with your thumb to operate it and the last one here this is the main power switch for everything except the I mean for all of this all of this uh, it powers the main contactor so everything from here behind this contactor is controlled with this circuit and as long as the main power switch is on all of this has power but not this one until you press the button right here and this this includes I think about here is the time relay again which I don't completely understand actually I, I have only very little information about it maybe some of you know more and can tell me I would really be thankful for that so this one is now out and after I have finished with the wires it will be quite a bit simpler which is good so I think this is how much this thing has electric components and here you can see one more time the whole circuit minus two switches and the time relay and by the way this is where I live I managed to find a free table to work on it's quite cramped in here but at, le at least it's warm in here and I can work this every evening so I guess this is it if you have any ideas about anything about this circuit please let me know my knowledge of electricity is very limited so in my explanation I, I may, have, may have had some mistakes even so please correct me if you know better especially about this one I would really like to know more because I have simply no idea what it is so thank you for watching and have a nice day